So what if leadership becomes corrupt? You say, oh, you know, but if you only have one person in charge, what if that person goes corrupt and what if they, they go astray? Well, you know, I already touched on the fact that, you know, they're accountable. So they're going to answer to God if they, you know, misuse the funds, you know, uh, abuse their position of power, abuse their influence. <coughs> But still, even if leadership becomes corrupt in a single top-down sort of method, I would still rather go with one man of God that met the qualifications than to go with the majority. So I'd still take my chances with that one man rather than the majority. But, you know, if, if leadership goes corrupt, then, you know, there's always the option to leave the church. You know, obviously, if you don't agree with how we do things here and you don't agree with, with how we run things, you know, there are plenty of other, you know, we're not the only church that believes the right things. There are, there are other churches that uh, you could go to, and that's one way you could, you know, voice um, your difference of opinion. But, you know, obviously, I think it's better if, uh, you know, we talked about it first, if there was something that you disagree with, and that's one reason why I try and keep the line of communication open. And I welcome you to come. You know, many of you know already that you would come to me and you'll ask questions and things like that. And, you know, I'm not perfect, so I'm not going to say that I'm always going to give you the most spiritual response. You know, I'm also made of flesh. But, um, you know, I, I, I definitely, you know, try to keep myself accountable and let you guys know, like, hey, come and, and bring your issues to me if you think anything should be different, if you think anything's wrong, uh, come and talk to me. Because I think it would be really sad if there was something that, you know, was bothering you. Maybe you had the wrong, you know, maybe you have the wrong understanding. And may, or maybe you don't know the reasoning behind why we do it here. And then you're just left without asking or without talking. And, and you know, maybe if uh, you had a different understanding or maybe we could have talked about it, uh, we could have resolved that before um, going to somewhere else. Because obviously, you know, I think this is the best church because that's why I'm here and it's the way I run it. So, you know, that's my, my unbiased opinion. So I think it'd be great if you stayed here and you got involved in the work that we're trying to do, which is to knock every door in this city. That's what that map on the wall is.